Hello, welcome back to another modification review. Today we're going over a mod that adds in a bodyguard for the High King of the Dwarf faction. Now, that is actually very logical because Dwarf Hammerers actually do form a Dwarf King's personal bodyguard. They're chosen by the King. And there can be more than one Dwarf King, but you've got only one Dwarf High King, Thorgrim Grudgebearer. Okay, time to charge in. We've got two Grave Guard to fight as well. It won't be easy. I brought no help. We're going to find out how well they can do. They're very powerful. They've got giant hammers. I feel like they'll be okay. Now, they can be used by a Thane or a Lord too, not just a King, but that is really their job there, to protect their liege. And thus far, I mean, they're doing a great job. I usually bring in a little bit of help because they can't always handle it on their own. But right now, they're doing just fine. They've already worked through quite a few of them. As I may have mentioned in our video where I covered Karl Franz and his own bodyguard, I really do enjoy the idea of, you know, having a bodyguard unit for your leaders as an option. They've got their line. They're fighting a lot harder than, you know, the actual greatswords were. Thorgrim as an individual lord is a little bit underwhelming, only because, I mean, I get it. That is his real model and all that, but I prefer my lords if I don't fight. I mean, imagine if you're on the downcast part of that job there where you gotta carry his chair and he's had a really bad lunch. Well, you're gonna be inhaling a lot of your king's aroma at that point. I wouldn't want that. They've killed over 200, or they put back into the ground at least 200. And they're still fighting now. They're being surrounded, not that they really care. But whenever they're not actually guarding a king or lord, they can be assigned to a task of protecting a very key location, such as a gate or whatever. They can be named after that gate, too. Like if they're meant to guard a certain clan, like the Iron Beard clan, they would be known as potentially the Iron Beard Guard or things like that. So they can earn their own names, and I find that to be very cool. So lore-wise, that would be very appropriate to name them after things like that. In the future, when I play a dwarf campaign, I'll probably be a little bit more lore appropriate and name things where I should. If combat's a little bit slower, then I feel like that's more probable to do anyway. They've taken out nearly 500, but if we look at it, how many more do they need to kill? 2300. Okay, well, maybe they've got a shot. I don't know. So far, they're winning. I mean, they're beating Graveguard back, too, and zombies. They're making them explode all over. I mean, they do have giant hammers. They're going to be able to do that. Yeah, they usually have top tier equipment. I mean, they have a very high status in dwarf society because of their job. They're basically like the secret service for the president. But there's a lot more of them because of that. And dwarves are a lot of fun. I find them very cool. Look at that, they're destroying them so quickly and readily. They've got more around here. Or how many have fallen apart? Like, what's up with that? Over 2,000, but they're like all spread out. I don't know what they're doing or why they're doing that. It's a little bit strange. Taking out over 700. They better move back over here eventually. Only one has died so far. Encourage. High King. Book of Grudges as an epic item. More melee attack. That's why they've got a lot of melee attack. And I did use Stand Your Ground. We got a lot more to hunt down then. Yeah, I wanted to know how well they would do if I threw in a few Grave Guard. I mean, Skeleton Warriors and all that, okay, sure, but Grave Guard? Yeah, they're a different story. I don't like how spread out they are, but I think that might be okay for now. I don't know, I would want a bigger weapon to actually poke them with. Again, what a terrible job. I, w I just would not want that, ever, in my life. But after I finish the current one, we have one more mod review to go over for the Bodyguard mods, and that would be it for that mod line until more is added. And I will be covering other types of mods in the future. And if you want me to do like mod compilations, let me know. Keep in mind, any feedback can really help me reconstruct my idea of what is appropriate for a video. Like when I did a multiplayer video, I wanted to know how you guys would want me to cover it. And a lot of you wanted me to add in my builds and potentially go over the builds of my foes. And I did. And a lot of you were like, hey, you got better after one part. And like, yeah, just kind of let me know. Feedback is good. I'm here to provide content for all of you. So feedback is always a good thing. 
and look at him go. I mean, if you want like an epic unit, if you want to be outnumbered, then here you go. You can get a bodyguard group to fight for you. Fight very hard, I might add. Pretty sure their stats are probably the equivalent of the High King, which is why they're so tough. It's like having 25 little High Kings going after them. All right, we'll buff up again. Two have died. We've killed over 1,100. Not bad. Finding a few zombies, and then we'll try to go find their leader over here. We'll begin to go through all of them. Maybe I'm on the attack end of things. I'm not too sure. I don't know why they're not all coming after me. All right. They're done. Let's go over here now. Time to charge in. Here we go. <laughs> We're on our little chair. It's going in. We're going to go find their leader. Look at all the dead here. There they are, and here we go. It's a big chair, buddy. They're not coming for me yet. Yeah, that group is dropping quickly. Look at that. That won't take very long, but I think their leader might be somewhere over here. I could give them more speed, but I'll wait until we charge into a new group. Yeah, I mean, those abilities can be handy whenever you want to get a quick burst of speed, but, eh, they're okay. They're all right. I do wish they had, like, an autocast. I mean, that would help me use it a lot more. A lot of micromanagement going on in the game. Okay, that group is falling apart. They're beginning to crumble. Then we can go after the other group. We just want to find their leader. Then we'll go after whoever we need to. I'm over here now. They're done. Now we can use our speed boost again. And Deadly Onslaught in just a moment. I'm going to find your leader. And there we go. Found him. He's like, you'll get to me later. A master necromancer. Okay, they're finally coming over here to find me. Finally, I've been waiting for that. Took you long enough. Now we can hammer them all up while we're here. 23 dead. Zombies are dropping. They're not getting very far. Okay. We're gonna fast forward just for a moment, just because, I mean, usually they're coming after me. Oh, he's fleeing. Are you kidding me? Like, like a Scooby-Doo villain, man. He's leaving me. Oh, okay. Come on, let's go. We're gonna finish him off. I love that giant line of dwarves just charging in. Beautiful. They're wrecking them. The reckoning. Ah, I get it now. <laughs> Here we go. We'll fast forward for a little bit as we churn them down into nothing. Wait, are they finally coming back over here? I think they might be. I think they're finally turning around to come fight me. He's like, all right, come over here and help me fight. Yeah, help him fight. We're getting hit here and there, but we're heavily armored. I mean, they're just damn zombies. Oh, here they go. But they're falling apart. You're kidding me. All that, and you're falling apart. Boo. Weak. Don't you die, don't you? And he died. Wow, you died from, like, what, a heart attack? What'd you even die from, you idiot? Okay. Two of ours died. We can't even see our kills. I kind of find that funny. I guess, like, getting over a thousand kills is really rare. We've got a kill. One skeleton warrior group, one zombie. Okay, lucky hit. Whatever. But we've won. Again, check out that modification down below. Give him feedback. Let him know what you think of the modification. Upgrade his mod and all of that. I like to cover mods a lot just because I feel like there's a lot of great mods out there that can enhance your game and give you quite a fun time. Quite an enjoyable time. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, make sure that you share it with them, that you liked the video and all of that. Thank you for watching. And as always, until then.